The memory of the machine is a place where you can combine stitches, and once you've combined them, though, sometimes we change our mind and we need to know how to edit them. So I just want to show you just a couple things that can help you. We can save it multiple times along the way, so you could always retrieve where you started from and then also where you ended up depending on your design. So let's just go ahead and we'll do just a couple alphabets just so this makes sense. So I'm going to type in the letters for love and right now you're just seeing it kind of coming down but have you wanted to see it kind of uh, so you can see all the parts and pieces. If you expand your window here, you get to all your alphabets, plus you'll be able to see everything across the top. Also be able to change from uppercase, lowercase, to the numbers, punctuation, go to other areas of your machine, and so forth. So since we're around here, you can also notice that there's an arrow that will let you kind of position a cursor throughout the letter. So if you needed to change the letter, change a date, maybe add something in front of this. So I touched it until the dotted line is actually in front of the L versus in between the L and the O where it would insert. I can put it here and let's go ahead and find some decorative stitches. That is our heart. And why don't we put a heart at the end? So if we arrow all the way to the end of our design, dotted line kind of after the E and put another heart, that will be how we can do it. Now if you want to collapse this, do take your cursor and carefully touch on that little arrow. I know it was small, it was took me a few times to figure out exactly where to touch and then that way it can go in here. Now if you want to save that, so if we want to save the love with the hearts, we can come in here to our heart and actually use the third one down, that's the arrow with the pointing into the folder that you want to save it and then go ahead and confirm that you want to save it in there. We could also come back, let's say we need to edit that back out again. We can come back into here and I'm going to actually edit out the heart. So then we can save it as both the love using the little delete key and then we can save that one and you'll notice that the first one's there and the second one. And we can go, come in at any time and have both of those ready to stitch. Once you're done working within your memory, touch the plus that closes it down and returns you to the last stitch you were on. So if I want to retrieve any of those patterns, go into the heart, touch the top one. Oh, no, you have to, sorry, you have to be in the memory. Then you can retrieve either of the patterns you want that are saved in there or the other one. Okay, so they'll both come back up. Notice that there's four items here when we're in the memory and when we were out of the memory there was only three. This would retrieve stitches that you had saved uh, of your favorites and then also how to delete them as well. So when we're in our memory, if I want to delete the ones we had, we can go back in here and actually come back one level and touch the trash can and then it will ask me which ones I want to delete. So I can touch and touch the green check mark and delete and touch and delete. So now nothing is in there and when I close this down, touch right on the edge, so you have to be right on the edge there. Then you'll have the last thing in there, but then you can go ahead and close it back out and get back to once again your last stitch. So anytime you have a change of thought process, you can go in and edit the memory, whether you do it here or also right across the top of the expanded window area.